2057. Earth's resources are completely depleted. A race to claim every ore-bearing rock in the solar system begins. Twenty seventy nine. Tension grows as opposing nations compete for ever declining resources and expand their military capabilities in space. Twenty eighty five. Eurofed Deep Space Survey ship Argo is impounded by SDRAF coalition forces. Three ships are destroyed in the ensuing police action. Negotiations fail and war breaks out. 2086. The war escalates and military resources on all sides are rapidly depleted. 2087. The final fleet action takes place at Nereus Harbor, orbiting Neptune. Within days, the battle is finished. Damaged and badly irradiated, the flagship Damocles is the only cruiser to survive the conflict. The war is over. Powerful multinational corporations unite to take control and restore order to the tatters of society. With little remaining military or financial resources, Earth's governments are stripped of their powers and are forced to demilitarize. The construction of capital-class armed spacecraft is outlawed. 2089. The corporations continue the exploitation of space, making vast profits to further strengthen their position. 2089. Earth's coalition government is allowed to create a multinational force to keep order in the colonies. The government police are born. did after the collapse, but I'd seen enough killing. And killing's what it's all about. When they first hit the colonies, the G police operated like any other Earth-based force. They got slaughtered by the truckload, and it was clear that the frontiers required more forceful policing. Close air support was introduced in the shape of the AG-60 Havoc. I'd flown these babies on Mars during the war, and they were past their prime even then. Lack of funding from Earth means that these ships are still in frontline service. Second-hand machines flown by second-hand crews. Which doesn't make the job any easier. G-Police are supposed to represent government authority in the colonies, but I knew the score. Most smart cops did now. Keep the population under control and try and turn a blind eye to any shady corporation deals. G-Police are all volunteers, usually vets with time on their hands. There's a few high-minded idealists who think they can make a difference, but the majority are just running from problems back on Earth. The G-Police ask no questions. If you're willing and you're up to it, you're in. Elaine Slater was one of the idealists. 
She was on her fourth tour as a Havoc pilot on Callisto, and now she's dead. Another good cop among many. They don't keep count anymore, but Elaine Slater was different. She was my sister. The inquiry gave a verdict of suicide linked to stress and depression. I didn't buy that. Elaine had won commendations for closing a couple of big cases, and she'd even hinted at a new romance. Depression just didn't fit the picture. If I didn't believe the suicide verdict, that left only one option. Someone murdered her and went to the trouble of covering it up. I had to know the truth. With a couple of street contacts and most of my savings, I bought a new identity and signed up as a Havoc pilot in the colonies. My military record got me a posting to the main hotspot, Callisto, to Elaine's old unit. I knew I'd have to watch my back out there. If anyone found out I was Elaine's brother, I was as good as dead. Welcome to Callisto, Mr. Taylor. I'm Commander Horton, and I run this operation. I don't know who you were trying to fool with that false name, Bull Slater, but it's not gonna work on me. I'd met some of the pilots already. They seemed pleasant enough. Pilot, Slater. Horton was another story. But if I a horror so story. Recently, he talked tough and looked tougher. That hunk of tin hanging around his brain no. hadn't slowed him down, though. Let's get one He'd spotted my straight. phony ID and was not impressed. I don't care what you Arriving on the same flight as the internal affairs investigator hadn't earned me any brownie advantage. points either. It was plain that my new commander didn't trust me. Yeah, that was okay. I wasn't too yeah, sure about him either. We both understand each other. As I listened to Horton, I noticed the medals he wore. We're in the middle a vet of a from the Naris action. No wonder he looked half dead. Weeks. Well, then it clicked. Man, he was the Jacob Horton, there. the last great fleet captain. The record says you're what the hell was he doing in this backwater? I don't trust you, Slater, and I'm going to be watching you like a hawk. Your first briefing is tomorrow at 0500 hours in the main briefing room. In the meantime, I suggest you take a look at your unit's database and familiarize yourself with it. That's all for now, Slater. Dismissed. Okay, people, listen up. We all know that gang warfare has escalated rapidly in the past few months. We've been hit pretty hard by it. A lot of the weapons being used by the gangs are restricted military issue. We need to find out where this state-of-the-art firepower is coming from and neutralize the source. Recent information points to Krakow employees being involved in this weapon smuggling. The evidence is slight, however, and there is no clear motive for the corporation as a whole. I have expressed our concerns to their president, Natalie Argenta, who has naturally denied any involvement. Argenta is coming over on the next shuttle, which arrives in four days. I can't give an official directive here, but off the record, keep a close eye on Krakow activities. I think they're hiding something. As you're probably aware, internal affairs are now investigating us, so no foul-ups, no heroics, and definitely no friendly fire incidents. Understood? Yeah. Keep your eyes open out there, do your job, and get back in one piece. We can't afford to keep losing pilots or gunships at this rate. Mission briefings are at 0500 hours tomorrow. Good luck, people. Dismissed. One of the major Callisto corporations is suspected of smuggling arms into the colony. Unfortunately, we are yet to determine which corporation is to blame. We have received certain details from an informant, suggesting that the latest shipment will be arriving on the next inbound transport. The inventory...
Control to Alpha-1. Cargo containers located at Spaceport Holding Area. Proceed to Spaceport Dome, over. Control to Alpha Wing. Follow the waypoints to the spaceport, over. Control to Alpha Wing. Fly through the tunnel to the next dome, over. wing. You have one unidentified craft in your vicinity. Over. Destroy that fighter before you proceed.
Control to Alpha Wing. Go through the tunnel to reach Spaceport. Hostiles incoming, over. Control to Alpha One. Vehicles must be scanned and identified before they are lost. Over. 